my rain guards I thought were a little bit too high. I had some room to move them down on my um, window here. Let me show you. Right here. I had them pretty high up. So I wanted them right here at the edge as far down as I could go. So the same 3M tape. Right here. It comes in a big roll. It's quarter inch. This is the same tape that you're going to use for the window screens when you put the window screens on. So now I'm just putting it, I'm just putting it on top of what came from the manufacturer. Hope it stays. I think it will. But ideally, if you haven't put your um, rain guards up yet, put them as low as you can. You'll have more window area to pull down for um, ventilation. So then what you want to do is just just peel off this red strip and this is the sticky part and you're going to put it right on your um, top of the window frame there. Bottom of the window frame. And you're just going to stick it on. Put your finger up there to make sure that you have it as low as you can go and just push it down. So just see how low can you go. Stick it on really good. There you go. Duck break. Hmm? It's actually a cool little area. This little bench over there. Aw, oh, cute little babies. As some of you know, I put screens on my back windows and they work great. They've been up for a month now and I haven't had any problems whatsoever. The only issue that I found was when I went to put the Reflectix up on the inside, you know, for privacy and also for shielding the sun, of course, when I turn them around. But the problem is it kind of defeats the purpose of having the screens on there at night because it blocks the air. So what I decided to do was this. So I don't know how well you can see here, but these are my screens. Okay. And uh, I will link the video of how I put those on in the description. But what I did was, I cut the top of my window covers. Now these happen to be the WeatherTech ones, but you can do the same with reflectives as well. And now what you do is, you take it, so this fits just like this, right? And it's just a tiny bit above where this is. You see that? Just a tiny bit, maybe a quarter of an inch. So what you can do is you just tuck it down like this inside. Okay. Voila. Let me show you the inside now. So as you can see, you have plenty of air in that area now. So that's what it looks like when the window's closed. Again, Lots of airflow. So I did this one side. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make the other side. So these Reflectix are actually reversible. So the reason that I'm putting it on this side first is I want to make sure 
but this is the same size kind of dips down a little bit in the front here see that's a little bit too low this is a little bit too high I don't know why that is oh there we go well that's pretty good okay so I can use this now I might cut it a little bit more over here I can use this now as a template so that's what it looks like when the windows open when the wind so that's what it looks like when the windows closed again lots of airflow so I did this one side let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make the other side so these reflectics are actually reversible so the reason I'm putting it on this side first is I want to make sure that this is the same size kind of dips down a little bit in the front here see that's a little bit too low this is a little bit too high I don't know why that is oh there we go well that's pretty good okay so I can use this now I might cut it a little bit more over here I can use this now as a template so I've got this laid out on my floor here's the top one here and there's the other side okay and I have some clips clipping it on so now as you can see it is a little bit crooked I'm gonna try to even that out a little bit and you're just gonna cut it and that's it, it you're done So I've got anywhere from about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, you know, inch and three quarters. Anyway, around that size. All right, let's go test it out. Looking good. All right, just going to tuck it in. And there you go. Well, let's put the window up. Yeah, right about there. Should work. There you go. Check the inside. And you got some good airflow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything else that you'd like me to show you, just leave a comment below. See you on the road.